Hi, hello. I have my new Toreador shirt. It's got roses on it. So I was like, my vampire brain was like, oh, <laughs> Toreador things. Because, you know, like, vampires do that shit in the wild to represent their clans. You know, I've been thinking, <laughs> reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. Are we ready? The little feet fucks me up. It makes me think like somebody's about to run up and stab me. We are in a tunnel full of gobos. They're gobos. We'll get the druid talking. Grove's got to be full of magic. Okay. Death. Well, I can't mess over them and see what they are because I don't think my characters can see them. So better not be cursed. Let's go run around the beach. Hey, yeah, we'll go have our our beach episode. Hope this ends well. There we go. Perfect. Should All right, let's get out of here. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. She needs to grab a snack. Taken out. Now, how do I get out of here? Because I don't want to go down there yet. This is right. I can't go. <gasps> wait, wait. Can't I fast travel? What is this? <gasps> We're going to find out. Okay. Cool. Oh, can we go down there? Can we jump? Can we repel it all? I'm trying to see if there's anything I can click. Doesn't look like it. And there's not like a super discernible path. Okay, so this is outside the gates. Now, I know we passed by that big purple swirly thing that was like, one of the waypoints, but it was currently in flux. Or errant magic. I'm not quite sure. We could investigate that. I don't remember where it is. Where? Oh, I hear it! Perfect, perfect. Let's touch it with our fingies. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. We do not have Arcana. We, we, we have been rolling like fire though, no joke. So I wouldn't, I'd still roll it for funsies if it gave me the option, but here we go. Anyone? Uh, oh, oh my god, are you for real, for real? Okay, wait. So if we soothe the sigil's magic, that's gonna close this teleportation circle, right? Oh my god, if we just like fucking high five him. <laughs> that would be actually hilarious. Like go and like reach for his hand and mold it into a fist and then fist bump him. I do think it would probably be prudent to ask who the hand is before we touch it. Who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Oh, strength is my dump stat. Shit. Um, I'm afraid I would normally use the the dialogue options that are specifically for us. So here, cleric. But I really don't want to accidentally close the portal on this man, especially if it's going to sever his arm. All right, we're going to fail this strength roll, but we're going to do our best. Shit, if we fail it, is he going to... If we fumble this roll, we're going to get pulled in with him. 
Okay, please, please, guidance. <laughs> Illustrate, please. Oh, wait, the difficulty's not even that bad. He's a light boy. Hi. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. He's a Waterdeep! Oh my gosh, how cool! I have played um, the Dragon Heist module, which takes place in Waterdeep. So. Oh my god, wouldn't it be so cool? Wouldn't it be so cool if there were tie-ins even to that? Because you know they're giving us, like, he's even mentioning Waterdeep, so there's clear, like, D&D &D references. But if there's even references to stuff that happens inside the modules, I am going to geek out so hard at, at introductions. At magic. Say, but I know you. Don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Uh, never mind the Nautilus. How did you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. That's Recognizing right. this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side as it were how about you how did you survive the fall when we fell out of the nautilus not lloyd we didn't smash into the sand we were caught by magic i'm assuming and just let down I almost forgot. I do feel like, as a cleric, we're probably like, huh. Ella's stray was feeling generous today. I attributed it to divine intervention. It is a valuable commodity to be favored so by the gods. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Are you not? I couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. So, speaking about divine intervention, you don't happen to be a cleric, by any chance, do you? Doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? <laughs> I like him. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. She's like, bruh. <laughs> I love how she's always unimpressed. Like, why is this man wasting my oxygen? It's so good. I'm a cleric, indeed, but I'm afraid the power to remove this parasite eludes me. I can't cure us. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? I like him. It's just so refreshing. He's plucky and optimistic. Instead of, uh, what was I calling Lazel earlier? Uh, the warrior meanie instead of the warrior princess? This sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me if you'd like. Oh. I see you're traveling with plenty of company already. Yeah. Perhaps I can join you later instead. Oh, 
now. I'll make my way to your camp and embark upon a succulent slow cook to be consumed upon your return. Thank you. That's so nice of you. We got a boy. We got a boy. And he seems really nice. He does have a cute earring. But now we have a problem. We can only have four people in our party. And that means that we have to... To switch somebody out. I think that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to... Let Lazel mope at camp and take Gale. And then Gale and I can be super sunshiny. And then you have Asterion and Shadowheart being grumpy. We can go to camp. But if we explore, we should be okay and not need spell slots. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to toggle alt every so often so we don't miss anything wait i can get up here i can jump yes okay this is definitely new oh. i can chat Wait, this looks almost like a perfect reskin. Wait, of like the ruins? So it's in Fort Joy at the beginning of Divinity Original Sin 2. There's this one narrow area like where, where the cook is and you have to go get like an elderly elf out of a cage. It's a long story. But there's a fight that's structured very much like this area. It's just without all the like enslaved people living in it. <sighs> okay, well... I can talk to this person. I'm all sorts of loot in that thing. Don't you want to be rich? I'm worried. Of course I want to be rich, but not if it'll get me killed. I don't want to get into a fight with these people with no spell slots. So in case I can't charm my way out of this, um we can peace out. <laughs> Hi! What's up the discussion? That wilderness. You! No another what? step! Hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. I just Or is up here. it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Is it so bad that the cosplayer in me is just like oogling all of their gear? That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. Here we go. Give me all the points. It's just a 10. We got this. my inner Toreador coming out. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. It would have been quicker to kill them. Lazel, calm down. Oh, I heard the roll, but didn't check it out. Okay, so now I can look around unhindered? Question mark? So the door we went through should be down there, I think. Oh, look at this view, though. I wish I could tilt the camera more. If I zoom in, can't I? Aha! Look at that Bigum's boy. Jesus. All right. Let's take a look around. I thought I saw nose water. I thought there was something. Oh, twisting vines. Okay, that's fine. Let's have a peek. We're going to have to drop that on that to get through. Classic. Can I check this box? <gasps> Sun melon! Oh. 
sun melon vines sprawl across gardens from the Cianthar to the Delambir. The fruit is served fresh, pickled, or jellied. Pig's head. Baked in the finest oils and sprinkled with spices, this is an Amnian delicacy. All right. Gonna take little steps. Oh, this man's missing his whole head. What is... There's also a pulley? Or is that just a decorative ring? I'm sus. Text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. Hmm. I'm not seeing too terribly much. I'm kind of gonna give it a little peep around the perimeter. We'll head back that way. Well, I guess, are there any plants out here? I'm just literally tapping alt every so often. I'm really interested to see- Something over there. Wait, can we dig it? We've got a shovel. A treasure! We dug a treasure! Oh, scroll of magic weapon. That's amazing. Scroll of ray of frost. And then feather fall. I feel bad, unless we can cast this on the whole party. Like, it's just gonna be one of us is like, bye, and everyone else plummets to their death. Yeah, it's like me in Dragon Age, I'm constantly pinging to like detect things in the area. Being obnoxious. Cool. That's really cool. All right, so I really don't want to walk over that because knowing my luck. Oh, it is a party cast. Perfect. I would fall through. So I am going to not. Oh, excuse me. Don't mind if I do. Dragon Age mushroom. Cool. I do want to start dabbling in the alchemy at some point. I do have to peep these areas. Oh, shit. That was a lot. Because I don't want shit to be hidden. This looks like I sh <gasps> Hatch? Should we go down the hatch first or should we go down in there? And there's a door. Oh my god, so many, so many ways. There's bed rolls. Can we peep in there at all? I do want to get this. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I... Coiled rope. Well, let's take care of this first. There we go. Thank you. Now. I don't want to go down there quite yet. I think I want to do our secret hatch because it's more secret. This is only half secret. Don't fall in. Okay, thank God. <laughs> All right, let's jump puzzle our way over. That might be <gasps> worth a look. I'm always afraid that she's like finding bad shit when she's rolling. Shadowheart, babe, do you wanna? All right, that's fine. You can stand there. <laughs> Arrow of acid. Very cool. I don't know if we have one of those already. No, we didn't. Sweet. Oh, and a plant. Oh no, if it was just a local temple and I broke their ceiling, I'd feel like such a shitter. All right, let's take those roots down. I'm just mousing over shit. Cause we're gonna have to jump. Oh no, I actually think we can just walk. And then jump down there. There we go. That man even, oh, oh, that's a skeleton. <gasps> it doesn't have any legs. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Shadowheart stands. She can stand where she wants to. All right, I'm um, gonna save. Asterion, darling, would you mind? 
handling this for me. Yes, I know that it's locked. I want you to use a lockpick. With pleasure. And I will give him guidance, if you know what I mean. All right. A 31. Fuck yes. Thank you. Look at that boy. What can't he do? Oh no, can you loot the skeleton? You can. Poor bud, I didn't think you'd have any. Oh, we do need that healing potion though. All right, what now? Let's get in. Dake Crypt. All right, so we can't go anywhere that direction. The camera bobble is sending me. Okay, or that way. I'm worried about doing a lot of this without spell slots. Should we long rest? Because if this is dungeon E and there is a lot of combat in it, I want my spell slots. I think we should be smart and do that. Don't we'll walk over here though. Death. We'll just take a nap as a treat. Look at her cute little kid. Oh, and Gail! Hi, buddy! Okay, so he has green, Asterion's blue. Does everybody have a different color? No, Shadowheart's blue. Oh, and Lazel's blue. Is this because he's a non party character? Oh, separatory funnel? Oh, it's just the decoration for his stuff. A telescope that I can actually look at. Look at this cool place. It uh, reminds me of your home in Elden Ring. Look at this. Did this used to be a statue or is this a well? Oh, backpack. In here. All right, well. Oh, I guess we should do doors, right? Here goes nothing. This looks a lot like the place outside. Same kind of statues. Unless everyone in this area of Feyren decorates the same, you know what I mean? This is so cool. Can I sit? <gasps> Can I just That's so pretty I love when they have stuff like that Do I play the piano? you can just interact with. Whoop, chest. Goodies. Oh, oh, okay, this is where our stuff is kept too. Okay. Chatterboxes tabard. I think this is the Twitch drop stuff if I'm not mistaken. Indigo cloth manipulated into elaborate patterns. Mark this outfit wearer as a gregarious observer, listener, and conversationalist. Dream hopper loafers, traversing fast paced bodies of water is a chore for all. Streaming. Is this a streaming joke? Apart from all the fashionable folk clad in this footwear. Channeler's trunks. Underwear of this type was commonly worn by mages powerful enough to broadcast their likeness across the many planes of existence. A streamer I'm channeling currently. Cool. 
Periwinkle Underground is this charming piece of hue reminds the flower often sprouting from anonymous graves. Oh, I'm not sure that one has a twitch tie-in. Drake, general die. Oh my gosh, we don't have any die yet. Wait, oh, I might want to leave that there, though. So, the World Ring Adventures pack, the lip of the pack is stitched with the likeness of a helmeted warrior. Their eyes sheltered. Something protrudes from the helm, like a strange, floppy arrow. Does this increase our bag space? And then peculiar clothing chest. It bears a faint likeness of six noble figures from a far off near mythical land. And then mask of the shapeshifter. The magic of this mask comes from its gory provenance and makes it perfect for the discerning actor, sleuth, or person with a mirror and time to kill. Thane from Divinity Original Sin 2 had something somewhat like this. But I, if I remember correctly, I think he had to peel the skin off your face and then slap it in his little contraption and then he could look like you. <laughs> oh my god. I had Fane in my party. I played Sabeel and then my companion was Fane. And Merlin played Ifan and had my ass almost said Brunor. <laughs> and that was our party for Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm going to leave this here for now. Oh, how large is this? Oh, not the largest. Other door. Oh, that's right. Do we have pigeon friends? That would be really cute. Oh. Training dummy? Books? It looks like we just kind of like camped out in some ruins. Wait, I wonder if our campsite changes depending on where, like what area of the map we're at. That would be really cool. Or maybe like per act. Cause I don't, I, I, I mean, you guys have seen how much of the map I've explored. It's not much. Okay, is that everything? There were no books. There were no books in here. Just piles of unreadable parchment. Oh, a vase. It looks like maybe this was one of those areas that that adventuring group was gonna loot because there's nothing here. <laughs> All right, look at all of his cool stuff. Let's talk to Gale. He's our new boy. I want to talk to him. You're not versed in magic, are you? Of course I am. My god has granted me a great blessing. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. <laughs> There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Babe, if you knew I wasn't a wizard, like, why? Why did we have to go through the rigmarole? How can I help? You can tell me a bit about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a <gasps> library, Weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. Dashing. I mean, it was nice. Thank you. That was a good intro. What a great little, like, elevator pitch. <laughs> Don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? <laughs> Oh, I I don't wanna I don't wanna peer into his mind. I feel like that's that's not very nice. There's no consent there. We'll change the subject. Join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. There's room for adventure, but no room for me, it seems. You have your fair oh. share of followers already. So I have to leave somebody behind first. Okay. Lazel, it be you. 
The wizard was a useful find. Let's hope he's as powerful as he is verbose. <laughs> Are you sure a crush is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. And that kind of wisdom can be very valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers. Exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos, and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Are we just gonna, like, gloss over that? Um, I think this is a good, like, segue. <laughs> um, wait for me, Camp. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? I just, I just wanted to hang out with the wizard because he's nice. Why are you gonna be like this? I'm not arguing. Remain here. As you say, do not keep me waiting. But threatening me doesn't make me want to, like, listen to you anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I dislike Lazelle. I think having well-rounded groups of different characters is the best way to go about this. You don't want everybody to be the same. You don't want everybody to be super nice. You don't want everybody to be super mean. You want to have a cast of characters, right? And she's definitely filling in our, like, I don't even know if I'd call her a tsundere, like. <laughs> and that's okay. Sometimes people are mean. We'll save the best for last. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Yep. Gail seems interesting. I feel like she didn't want to really talk about her pra her past previously, so she's really not going to appreciate us asking into the artifact, but... What's the story with that old little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I did kind of know going in that that probably wasn't going to go well, but... Boo! Best boy, best boy. Look how pretty his little so, house is. So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Babe, do you remember how we met? I would have anything? Would have anything to say? Fine. How terrible. Can I sit on his stool? <laughs> She's just sitting there. Just making eyes. Little hearts. Like bubbles. Oh! But you've got a lot of blood there, baby. An empty blood bank jar just reminds me of vandal from the blood bank in vampire the masquerade bloodlines but like how would you how would you keep blood good i mean i guess magic but i don't know if the mirror thing is canon for D, &D vampires i don't remember i know for vampire the masquerade like it's just a bane so like you can choose to take that as a folklore bane if you want to yeah, he's not very subtle. There's blood everywhere. Babe, you need to clean your area up. Oh, there's more blood. How are you getting all that blood? I don't know if I want to know. Oh, destitute clothes. 
lowly and poorly fitting on any physique. This garb is of the worst quality. Thank you. <laughs> Just a little treat. Gladiatorial sandals. Worn by warriors upon the bloodiest sands. Oh, he just cut himself shaving? My bad. Well, I really hope he's okay. If he needs to talk later, I can, like, heal and shit. Because there's blood everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, did we talk to everybody? I'm so surprised there wasn't much to talk about, if we're going to be real honest. But we, oh, but we got new clothes. We got new clothes. Oh, that's right. We got to get a Gale first. And then probably level him up, because he's level one. And Assyrian's level two. Now we can ask him to join. What's on your mind? Join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. With pleasure. Lead on. Got a new friend. Oh, and he leveled just by being in our party. What a trooper. No okay. rest for the wicked, I see. I wonder what kind of wizard he is. I guess we're about to, f well, is that at level three too? I haven't played a wizard before. Oh, oh, he's in evocation. Yes. Casimir in um, Curse of Strahd is an evocation mage. Evocation is so cool because like, if you want to cast fireball, you can literally sculpt the spell around people. So you can throw a fireball literally in the middle of your party and you can whittle the spell to miss your friends, TLDR. Very cool. Super cool. He got two spells. Tasha's. Oh, I can pick his subclass? <gasps> Look at all of these. Now, again, I haven't played well, I mean, okay, I've played a wizard, but I've played a blade singer. It's not quite the same, you know what I mean? So we've got abjuration. So they summon wards, banish enemies, nullify magic. It's suitable for those who wish to defend themselves and others. Learning abjuration spells from scrolls only costs you 25 gold instead of 50. Cool. Arcane ward. <gasps> oh. Abjuration Savant. Okay, that's what that was. We were an Evocation Mage. We might still be an Evocation Mage. So this is just elemental energy into powerful attacks and enchantments. And then, so we just look like we get a discount for the type of spells that align with our subclass. Necromancy. We all know what that does. Conjuration. Compelled by shape and motion, your favored arcane style involves <gasps> summoning creatures and objects, as well as displacing them in space. That's so cool. Enchantment. Your magic influences, beguiles, and bends the will and conviction of those around you. I love that. Hypnotic gaze. I feel like maybe doubling up on that might not be the best because I tend to take a lot of those similar spells. All right, divination. You peer through time itself and can sculpt the future like temporal clay into a more favorable form. Divination's very cool. Illusion, unraveling and restitching the fabric of reality to fool the unwary, the gullible, and the monstrous. Transmutation. We're just gonna role play a full metal alchemist. Your innate fascination with the structure of things has granted you an incredible power over crude matter and its manipulation. I'll probably leave him as evocation for now, just so I don't have to fuck with it, but I would like to choose his spells. What is the heart? False life? Ooh. Temporary hit points. That sounds actually extremely handy. Burning hands, finally. Burning hands is so classic, and I hadn't seen it yet. Color spray, feather fall, we have a scroll. <gasps> find familiar. I can't not take find familiar. Oh, and we gotta take magic missile. I mean, it's it's the spell. It's the spell for wizards. What do we have prepared? Oh, he's got grease. Good man. Witch bolt. Okay, so oh and god I love Thunder Wave too. Grease is so good. Not only for prone, but also because you can light it up. So let's take 
I, I would really love to take Magic Missile because it's just so great. And uh, Mage Armor is important. I know that that saved my ass on many an occasion. But it's going to take up a whole ass spell slot. Maybe if we just keep him in the back, he'll be okay. Because I would love... I just... Look, I want the cat. I'm going to be real with you. I really want the cat. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the group. All right. Look! Can I cast it as a ritual so I don't use a spell slot? How do I cast as a ritual? Select variant. Spider, raven, rat, frog, crab, cat. Oh my god, he meows to distract our enemies. A baby. A crab. Oh my god, it can slow enemies with a crippling pinch. It can spread toxin to enemies, the frog. The little rat boy has an infectious bite. We do love our rats. This one can blind our raven. And then Spider will be doing a bite. It's going to be a no from me. I'm going to click back on me. Well, it ends not as bad as it could have. Do we get everything? No, we didn't look at all our, our stuff. Yes. Perfect. We got to put our better shoes on. Right click the pack and open. Oh! We get an elixir of hill giant strength, um, a sliver of hill giant's fingernail suspended in this potion, and the foul stench renders it unpleasant to swallow. Potion of animal. <gasps> I was literally talking about how much I wanted either a scroll or this spell. Ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts until your next long rest. A heady aroma of hay, musk, and manure greets your nose upon opening the bottle. I don't care. I want to talk to all the animals. The potion of flying. I'm hoping this is cast on the entire party. Potion of mind reading. Drink to probe into the minds of those around you. I'm sure our party members will love that. We can already kind of like poke at them. You will be able to read the thoughts of certain creatures while speaking with them. Fragments of memory and perception smatter this liquid. A crude constellation of thought. And then we've got Featherfall. What? We've got Paella? The smell of the sea wafts gently from this warming, delicately spiced dish. Oh my god, now I'm so hungry. Oh my god, potatoes. Absolutely. These thick-cut chips fried in beef tallow evoke memories of leisurely promenades along partially frozen rivers. Oh, so good. I'm gonna have to have french fries for lunch. Haggis. Um, not my cup of tea, but an ancient dish as old as the halfling race, traditionally served with neeps and tatties. Poutine! Oh, okay. If I can find some poutine, that's what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> fries, cheese, and gravy, a perfectly balanced meal. Agreed wholeheartedly. And then some stout stew. Food should not fit so snugly or so warmly in the gut. It's like a brothy hug. And some mixed coffee. The harsh but invigorating coffee in this drink is tempered by a soothing milk tea. <sighs> Best supped in grand plazas of music and blue pink light. That's amazing. Yes, I will take all of it. So, do I do the same thing with this? Oh, needle of the out. So, Sibyl's weapon in Divinity Original Sin 2 is called Needle. I don't know if this is a reference to that, but it'd be really cool if it was. A dagger that thrums with desire. A longing for vengeance! It is! It has to be! It has to be! It has to be! Oh. By a corn of the sea beast! Which is a dwarf. A battered two-point hat that seen the wear and tear of rebellion. Yes, these are divinity characters. These are divinity characters. Lute of the Merryweather Bard, an old lute that hums with the voices of numerous sprites and spirits. I think Losa? She wasn't in my party, but I think that was generally her class. Cape of the Red Prince, 
A noble warrior's cloak woven in the heart of an ancient empire. Okay, low key, low key. I, obviously, this is for the Red Prince, whose TLDR are like lizard folk or a dragonborn. I don't want to spoil the game for anybody who hasn't played before. So, I will tell you, as somebody who does not take renegade actions lightly, I murdered that man in my playthrough. Walked right up and murdered him. Because remember, I'm playing Sabeel. I'll let you make of that what you will. Oh! Netherese Briefs! Energy crackles around these. Gale wouldn't... Surely he didn't enchant his. God, I love these. Asterion's underwear embroidered into the cloth. If you're reading this, you managed to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. I love this man so much. Shadow hearts, if pants could brood. And me, I just have underwear. So, what are we gonna do? No, let me give this man underwear. Thank you. And I'll take the fancy ones. We match. I should probably give him back his underwear. <laughs> I can't just take his underwear and keep it. That seems inappropriate. <laughs> Can I wear his underwear? I bet I could, but I'd feel really bad. Okay, here's the deal. After we start sleeping together, I will put his underwear on. But not until then. Until then, I would feel bad about it. <laughs> the compromises we make. <laughs> These are, oh, we need to give these. <gasps> Perfect. Here, darling. So a loot, we don't have a bard, which is so unfortunate. And then I'm gonna sell this cloak. Try playing the loot? Oh my God, to be so bad. Equip? Is it on my bar somewhere maybe? How do I? Oh, there it was. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, we've got we've got turn undead now. Very nice. Okay, here it was. I have a high charisma. <gasps> oh, there's of divinity and sin. <gasps> oh. She's giving it her best. She's doing it. <laughs> She's doing what she can, okay? Maybe you'd better stop before anyone starts throwing rocks. Okay, okay. Okay, babe, don't do that anymore. <laughs> Gail's gonna be super mad. I like how everyone else has their very cute tent setups, but not me. Oh, what's in that basket? A rotten fish, a rancid smell radiates from this fish, invading your nostrils and throat, even from a distance. Rotten mushroom, slimy and moldy, this mushroom smells strongly of rotting leaves. I mean, there are gold. You should not keep rotting food in your stuff, Gail. That's nasty. <laughs> Just wizard stuff? Are they like spell components or some shit? What are you casting that requires like rotting fish? Let's see what this does. All right. Yes, we have enough camp size. Oh, yes, those are all our hit points and spell slots. Let's do it. Cool. Okay, so this is like preparing for bed. We haven't actually gone to bed. Oh, look at this little yellows. We're matching in purple. Oh, but look at our boy though. <gasps> look at that. Such a classic deep V. What a rogue shirt. That is a rogue shirt I've ever seen one in my whole life. I love how he's just reading. We love a man who reads. All right. 
I want to have a word. How can I help? You don't have anything more to say? I guess you didn't have a, a question mark. Actually, that's an exclamation point. Lazel, baby! <laughs> what are you wearing? That's definitely a choice. Galek. I remember who I was in Kreshkalir. I was hungry to face my first geich. My sword pined for their blood. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Next time you're able, look to the sky. Watch the moon cross it. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Are uh, Ulkis Yankee from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. Cousin? But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Cousins? Babe, first you're going to talk about lesser people, and then you're going to just drop that you killed not one cousin, but more than one cousin on me? I want you to examine these actions and uh, maybe consider why uh, we left you at camp. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Whew. Maybe they were bad cousins. Um, maybe, maybe they were. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find this priestess gut, the better. Can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. So, what will come next for you, once this is all over? Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Oh, yes? Who? Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? <laughs> Dang, it'd be so rude when she told us no to probe her thoughts. How are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? We're going to channel our, our, our drow. How would she handle this? Instead of me, who is too wholesome for a lot of these situations. <laughs> hmm. No hesitations. I just end your misery then and there. A firm answer. I'd do the same. We'll need that kind of thinking to make it through all this. You're doing well. Yay. We thank should you. get some rest. Good night. She has such perfect eyebrows. They're such good brows. Okay, so she doesn't have anything. So all that we're left with is the boy. You know, I've been thinking, <laughs> reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we meet this goblin priestess. Will she know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Watch me just like make the most ridiculous noise because this man is just laying on the ground like that. <laughs> Boy, what are you doing, sweetheart? Where, why are you laying like that on the ground? <laughs> Who? What? Will you miss me? <laughs> why not? Don't be rude. <sighs> I like we give him the squinty eye. You've been eye. to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. I can't tell if that was a positive reception or not, and I don't know how to proceed. That to me sounded like, um, amused, but uninterested. 
I mean, I guess we can kind of give him some of his own medicine and be a little self-important and smug. Because I don't think Belle would downplay her abilities. But I also don't want to force a flirtatious interaction if he's not there for it. You know what I mean? As, as much as that kills me to not have him be flirtatious in return. It's true. I am pretty impressive. Aren't you just? Okay, that was better. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh no, maybe I am blushing a little bit and you can see. He's hit us with the staring thing before, so maybe we turn that back around on him. You can stop staring. Was I? I just... I just need to get some air. Clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. Oh, this man. Everything he says makes me glad that I'm sitting and not standing. Because my knees... <laughs> my knees would be so weak. <laughs> The read that I'm getting from Asterion so far is he's one of those that is insecure in some way, is vulnerable in some way, but masks it with a lot of this bravado, with a lot of this vanity, but there's something underneath. That's what I'm getting from him right now. Time for sleep. I love how I'm resigned to these beds, and everyone else has their cute little tents. Good night, Asterion. We'll give him a longing look before we crawl into bed. Oh, I get to pick dinner? Okay, okay, okay. We need 40. What should we have for dinner? Oh, this was the gruel that um, the lady gave us. Potato, lemon, and pig. That is an interesting, oh, I guess it's kind of like a roast maybe. We'll uh, brighten things up with a lemon, get some roasted potatoes in there. What else should we have? We need a few more. Stew and the sun melon, and that gets us to 40. Here we go. Sir? Where are you sneaking to? Why are you sneaking? <sighs> oh, everybody, oh, everybody sleeps here, but has their personal areas. All right, so now that we've rested up, we've got our spell slots back, we can go and do a little bit of that dungeon. And, okay, perfect. It ports us right back in. I'm mousing around a little bit because I do be paranoid. Oh, entombed scribe? Open up. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. A dagger. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. A rogue's favorite toy. So we gave we gave our, our boy a really oh gilded chest right there. A cup. A glass chalice, a smooth chalice fabricated by gnome artisans. A plate. Uh, it's rough with scratches left behind by forks and knives. Cool. All right, can we light these? Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Is there more? Okay. Now we know if I've touched everything too. Spooky noises. A quarter staff. Is that it? 
But we gotta turn the candles on. The pigeons <laughs> gave me a spook. Can't. Oh, we can. Anything of use? Nothing. That's totally fine. Looks like that's how we clambered down, but let's explore the top floor first. Is it just kind of same mole? I don't know if they crawled out of these. Oh, that's really disconcerting actually, to think that they might have come out of those. Oh, no, that's a button. Is there a button on this side? No, there's not. Sus, very sus. Oh, and then blackness. Because there's doors right there. Okay. All right. We can't... Can we light that? Okay, I didn't think so. Gonna have to, like... Keep an eye out. Oh, scroll of burning hands! Thank you. That's actually really helpful. I appreciate that. We like this brazier. Nice. Now it's so pretty and warm. <laughs> These pots don't ever seem to have much in them, but better to check. Okay, I want to exhaust this completely before we go to the other side. Oh, there's a door here too. So, okay, we came in. Oh, because there were ruins in this area. So... Let's light some candles. We'll light these. Oh, a key! Perfect. I don't think it's gonna be for the button door because, uh, well, I mean, maybe. Who the fuck knows? It is D and D. It can be whatever it wants to be. But maybe it's for the door off to our left right now. All right. Let's grab that pot. So button was over here on this side. Ooh, a silver necklace. Sapphire necklaces are popular among Baldur's Gate patriarchs as mourning garb. The heavy teardrop shaped stones represent the weight of their loss. Oh, very cool. Okay, so I think we can, I mean, I guess we could jump instead of climb. What is that, a plaque? Jergle. I didn't think anyone worshipped the, the inscription the is in a language unknown to you. I don't think anyone has comprehend languages, but I guess we can take turns reading it just because I don't know what our languages are. Characters start with several different languages, depending. The inscription is in okay. a language unknown to you. What about you, babe? The inscription okay. is in a language Gail, unknown to you. you're last. The inscription is in a language. All right, it was worth a shot. I don't know what everyone's languages are. But Jurgle, I like how we failed our religion role and we're the cleric. <laughs> okay, that's all that's over here. Let's grab these pots from this side. this side. And I think that should be all that's over here. Cool. I do like that you can right my feet. move the companions about and take over their little bodies <laughs> if you need to. <laughs> can I not touch? Oh, that, that pot's broken. I didn't notice. Hmm. What's that? It's a button. I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. First things first, we have to save. What? Oh. Help. Oh. 
something just woke up down here. Fuck. Um. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Uh, I mean, go off, Shadowheart, but like, it's not helping us right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How many are we dealing with? Oh my god, five. That is... Okay, so we've got Scribe, 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 and then the Warrior. The Warrior's right there. So the closest one... Okay, good. Yeah, there was that guy right there. So Scribe... I'm gonna think Magic User... Now, his AC is bullshit. So let's... This guy's gonna take a second to get to us. So what I'm gonna do is because I'm worried that this is a spellcaster. Oh, it's it's gonna be low ground. Can you get up here and then cast from high ground? It looks like he can. Of course. Thanks, babe. Okay, so now he's within range to cast. Let's just do ray of frost. What is the damage on that? We can one shot. Thanks, Gail. Love you. There's blood in the air. I love this man so much. There we go. Step quick. Now, can I get him from here? So it looks like his AC is pretty high. What about? It won't let me zoom out enough. There we go. Path is interrupted. Oh, we could have just slotted it right through there. Can I knock the brazier over? Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, hold on. Let me look at my options. Okay, we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to hamstring this man. So it slows his movement and we have more time to get to him before he gets to us. 65% isn't great, but I believe in you. Oh, it's okay, babe. You did your best. Sometimes the only way out is through. I still have the loot on. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope they didn't replace any of my weapons. Okay. Need to find a way forward. Alright, so. We're low ground from that. We need to also get to high ground at some point. But for now. 35? But what about Secret Flame? Isn't that a cantrip? Yes. But yeah, let's do Secret Flame. Don't I also have something undead? Turn. Oh. And it's a channel divinity. That might be handy when they start to close in on us a little bit more. Okay. He's just gonna dash, yeah. He clicked at us! Illegal! Do not make spooky noises at me, sir! I don't know if she can shoot between them, but I'm gonna try. On I go. So let's see. Ken. No. What is your Ken trip? Do you also have Sacred Flame? Yes. Maybe we just use some radiant damage. Alright. We've really kind of narrowed shit down. Let's see how uh, this goes. Oh. That's right, he wasn't hamstringed. Okay, so. We are all silenced. That really sucks for us. I and Asterion are in opportunity attack range. Gale, however, is not. So, can Gale maybe go like here and then fire over the side right here? About right here. Let's light them up. Can you, what are your cantrips again? Ray of Frost, hey, Ray of Frost might do us. Can you Ray of Frost him? Is that a touch spell? Or can you not cast over the side? 
Hold on. I'm gonna do one I know is range. Are you really telling me you cannot cast over the railing? Oh my god, that's such a pain. Um, can we? Hold on. Do we have any movement? We have the teensiest amount of movement. Can I jump up on the railing? <laughs> Fuck! I didn't, I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to cast over the goddamn banister. Man, that really sucks. Um, shit. So if I put him, that's really, shit. It's really not great. We'd have to move all the way over here. All right, well, I, I guess we're just dashing because we don't have enough for jump. I guess if we dash, then we can jump. Mm. It won't let us be on the banister. Okay, so let's get... Can we get, like... Right there. Alright, that's what we got. Let's spill some blood. Oh, I love him so much. So, we can't cast spells, but that doesn't mean I can't stab you. And, we kind of have flanking. Get in, babe. Oh, it was 65. It's not your fault. But, can I? Oh, I can shove him. Great! I love him so much. Another fight. Let's go. I can get up here. But I'm still in the silence. But that's okay because I can still fire my bow. He doesn't have a bow. Have okay, to keep let's going. do that. Hmm. There's nothing I can do to interrupt him because I'm an absolute bumpus and unequipped my weapon because I was trying to trade and I forgot that that costs action points. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, miss. Okay, Shadowheart. Now we're not. Oh, there we go. Let's get her out right here. She can do whatever she wants. Now. Nice. That will kill the silence. No, it didn't because he saved. What a dick. Time for bad guys. Where are you going? Oh. Really? <laughs> Oof. You leave my boy alone. Okay, Gail. Fuck him up, babe. We've got Ray Frost. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Oh, and... All right. Darling. So let's do two stabs. One stab. <laughs> Oh, two step. We did it. Cool. Then we can move. We should probably move. Let's. Is this one? This one's still over here, but it looks like he's on his way down. So let's intercept him. I'll try. It's on the way. Thank you, love. I wonder if this is worth the cost. No, it's me. So now, <laughs> I'm still silenced. Okay, can I get down there? No. Oh my God, my poor drow. I can't cast over the side. This fucking bubble. Isn't that man? No, he's not dead. That's why. Urgh. 
I know, right? The fucking banisters are harder to deal with than these guys. Don't waste a step. I know I went to high ground to try to use the high ground, but can't end up shooting anyone from there. All right, bad guy time. Oh, Gail, honey. Okay, Shadowheart, why don't you? Yeah, let's just do more. Okay, good, we're good. I was worried it was in that weird distance where you get disadvantaged because you're too close. One bubble down, one to go. Okay, so our other dude is over there. Um, let's get out of this silence. I would really like to be out of the silence. Moving. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, ouch. Gale, this is your man. We gave him some ice, so now let's give him some fire. Boy, you have one job. You had one job. All right, baby, you can't get over there, so can you shoot him? Yes. Yes! It's done. So we've got, got one man up there. Okay, he can't go anywhere, so I'm just gonna end his turn. Push my luck again. How far can I get? I can get almost to the top of the stairs. Light on my feet. Now, we're gonna try this again. Okay, so, oh my god, we've got the loot on. Where's... They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. We did Let's it! It isn't for your pockets only. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, big tomb. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Can we check for traps? Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. We'll go ahead and light the rest of their candles. Oops, I think I accidentally turned that one off. My bad. There. Now, there's a vase. I'll wait for that last. Got a heavy chest. Check for traps. The amulet of lost voices. We can speak with the dead? The dead hold no secrets from Jergal's Scriveners of Doom. All right, can we put this on someone? Shadowheart, you seem like you'd like a creepy amulet. So, if I want to, to use that, do I just get the spell in her wits and blades? Or yes. Shall... Speak with the dead. Grant a semblance of life to a human corpse, allowing it to answer up to five questions. Okay, I'm gonna loot it, and then if there's not somebody to talk to in there, I'm gonna go talk to one of the people outside. Very cool. Um, let's go back to governing to our character, though. And work in it. All right. There's never anything in these pots. I don't know why I try. Okay. What's in here? Hello? Oh, oh no. Is this a lich? This can't be a lich. I mean, I mean, it could be, but. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. 
Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Oh my fuck. Wow, this is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> oh, Bone Daddy does have that drip. Oh my god. I, I love the, the metal work. It's pretty great. And of course, the voice acting is phenomenal. Quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Oh my god. Now, I have to decide how far along Belithene is in her journey on the surface. I probably want to play into the Drow just enough because she doesn't have much of her redemption until a little later on. I figure she'd be pretty laissez-faire. It depends on the mortal. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I... I'm satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Oh, are you, are you, are you just, are you just leaving? Where is she going? Um, sorry I killed your friends. Is he gonna do a big jump? These chambers are much changed. Can we follow him? Or is he just chilling? Hi. What are you what are you what are you doing? How long has it been? Are you a lich? Can you tell me that? I have something to ask. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. Oh. We will see each other again. Soon. You seem very certain of that. How? The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. Um, see you later. All right. Still comforting after all this time. Is he just gonna meander out into the sunshine? For the first time in God knows how long? No, sunshine was too much. He's just trundling around. Oh my God. Okay, I wanna do the... Is this gonna use a, spl a spell slot? No, because it's a ritual. Okay. No, you can't do undead. It's a humanoid corpse, but because he's been dead before and we killed him again, I guess he can't. Dang it. But, ooh, but we can level. We'll level Shadowheart first, because we were hanging out with her. Yeah, I know, right? If he is a lich, he's the least hostile one I've ever met. Well, I mean, there was one in one campaign that I played, which was very cool. He was chill. But he was chill because we agreed to do stuff for him. <laughs> All right, let's look at our level two spells. 
Calm emotions. I feel like the way that I play D and D, like at the table, is not going to translate over the best because I'm, I am a diplomat. I'm a talker. I ease tensions, and this is this is pretty combat ish. So I might have to revise my approach a little bit. Hold person is good shit. Lesser restoration. That's good because it's like they say, disease, poison, paralysis, blindness. And I feel like that's gonna be a good like debuff removal. A prayer of healing. Wow, an AOE heal, that's pretty great. Protection from poison, boarding bond. Oh, a spiritual weapon. I mean, spiritual weapon's pretty cool. And then silence. Silence was actually really handy. Okay, so let's. Oh, he's just wandering his little shuffly footsteps. Nice, nice. Get, I'm assuming these are, yeah, one more level one spell slot and then get level two spell slots. We got two of those. And then these are what we get. Pass without trace, yes! Love pass without trace. And then mirror image which is gonna be really great when we get into big fights. Prepare spells. Okay, so we took silence here. I wanna take man hold person though. I thought we had two level two spell slots. Did I read that wrong? No, we've got two level two spell slots. Mm, I love using hold person in game and calm emotions. Maybe I will take silence and I'll let Shadowheart take a spectral weapon because I feel like that's going to be fun. Okay. Still comforting after all there. this time. My boy. All right. Oh. Two spells and two. Oh, because he's an arcane trickster. Of course he is. Oh. Yes. Yes. More spells. All right. Minor illusion is handy. Dancing lights. Friends. Blade ward. Shocking grasp. Shocking grasp is because you have to like. It's a touch based spell. But I mean, I guess he's a rogue. He's gonna be up in people's business anyway. Poison spray though is really powerful, but it's so short range. That's the drawback. Acid splash. We've got so much ray of frost. Um, let's do. Let's change things up just a little bit. And then our spells. So these are all he has so far. Let's do sleep because I keep taking sleep away from other people. Um, and it's it's a good spell. I just wanted other things, right? Oh, Tasha's is actually really good though. Maybe, maybe we don't take that and we take these two. We'll do a little CC. Oh, a wizard spell. What do we want? No, not Long Strider. Ice Knife would be on brand. We haven't taken Ice Knife on anybody else. Expedition Retreat. It's a good one. I think Ice Knife sounds fun. Yes. Man, I love Arcane Trickster so much. We're a long way from Waterdeep. That we are, baby. Okay. Sweet. Wizards get so many. Dimension door? No. <laughs> oh, crown of madness is actually really good. Cloud of daggers. Like we should start from the beginning. Arcane lock. We've got the boy for that. Blur. It's a lot of damage, but it's hard because if people are moving around, that's gonna stay still. Darkness, 
We've got a blind already. Detect thoughts. I've got a scroll. Flaming sphere. See, this one lets me move it, which is better. Gust of wind. Hold person. Invisibility. Magic weapon. Melf's acid arrow. I like that because it sounds fun. I've got mirror image. So I always take the feet. What is it at level four? That's like the fey one. And so it lets you take some like spells. But I always take Misty Step. And I always skin it to whatever kind of elf I'm using. So like for Chalice, because she was um, a sun elf, she dissipates into dappled glimmers of sunlight. And for instance, I played an Eladrin before and she was of the winter court. So she was, you know, a burst of snow. The drow was just smoke, easy, but like glittery smoke, stuff like that. I really love to, to skin things to the character. Oh, Phantasma Force is good. Scorching Ray is good. Mm, I'm leaning towards Scorching Ray right now. Shatter. Dang. Web, Featherfall, We Saw False Life, Next is Retreat, Disguise Self. Okay, so we're back down here. Scorching Ray sounds real cool. I think that's what we'll do. God, the spells are so cool. So Shadow Hearts was the next, I only that. one whose spells we had to select. And these will be fine for now. If you're, I'm more of a role player than I am a uh, combat oriented tabletop individual. And so Vampire the Masquerade is really, really great for me because I can talk my way out of anything and I get points and abilities based on things other than combat, These right? These are much changed. This man's just waddling everywhere. So you get lots of really cool mechanics and merits slash How abilities that don't necessarily rely on combat, first of all, but aren't constantly like, because d d at the end of the day is a combat-based system. In VTM, you get to choose your clan and a lot of your stuff is based around your clan which is a lot more flexible in my opinion than having to be so combat focused all the time so what we should do is we should save the game and rewrite don't forget the other door awesome i hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day or night Whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. How long has it been? <laughs> Too long, my guy. Too long. All right, I'll let stream credits finish. Look at you guys. Y'all have been so incredibly generous today. I am blown away. Thank you so much for always making every Baldur's Gate 3 stream just a phenomenal time. We'll be back on Thursday with more. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.